Hi, right, welcome back to VHP. We're here in the shop, just tuning in a little uh, Fox Body Mustang. Um, as you can see, he just started it up. It's still ice cold. Literally just started up like a few seconds ago. Doing really good on oil pressure. Anyways, we're just in here tuning it, making sure everything's good. We're in the, let's see if you can see it right here. We are, uh, wrong button. All right, we are in the, if you can see, we're in the air section, the mass airflow, and the mass transfers, transfers. And that's how we get this right here. That's how we get this information. This is right here, if you can see, this is the curve for the mass airflow sensor. On the quarter horse, using binary editor, that's how we tune this car. So we'll go in here, we'll go in here and we'll scroll this down, hit the data log button, and you see where that little yellow dot is circling around? That's, let's see if we get this, there you go. That yellow dot, that's uh, what we're doing to see what's going on, where the car is idling for the mass airflow sensor. Um, so what we would do, because it's a little on the rich side still, I took some fuel out, but it still needs a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of fuel out and probably take out the whole entire curve, which is this whole entire curve there. We'll probably take a little portion out of it get that air fuel ratio closer to 14 uh, 15 trying to get it closer to 15 to 1 air fuel ratio but we're gonna wait till it gets warm see how it's just barely got over 130 degrees so we want this air temperature I'm sorry not air but we want the engine temperature operational temperature before we can go in and start uh, doing any adjustments because we don't know what it's doing when it's at operational temperature and that's what we need to do so we'll wait till it gets some heat in it and then we'll start modifying this tune but as you can see we can go in here go in here and select these sales make these sales a different number a little bit lower number and the lower we go the leaner it gets the higher we go the richer it gets so we'll lean these out here and then it'll affect the air fuel ratio but that's just a quick little video. I'll do some more videos so you guys can see how I go about doing this. It's a little hard to do it by myself. So um, maybe I can get someone in here to help me out later on or another car. But it's just now starting to get some heat in it. So I'll wait till it gets to about 160 degrees and then I'll start tuning on it. Well, you guys have a good day. If you have any questions about the quarter horse, or the binary editor hit me up and I'll we can uh, do some discussions and uh, let you know but like I said that is the mass airflow sensor table that is the transfers which will modify those numbers on the right numbers on the right will not modify those to get different values but as you can see it goes all the way up all right and for those that want to hear, we'll get some information. There we go. Let me turn the fans on. Uh, got the fans on. Make sure the car doesn't overheat. And we'll do a little, a little revving. We'll start the data log. And start a new one so I have a fresh one so I can see what the car is doing at operational temperature which it is right now all right so i'm gonna hit the data log it's recording and you see that's bouncing around that lets me know it's recording and so what i'm gonna do is just gonna slowly rev it up and see what the air fuel ratios are now it's gonna run a little crappy because it's not perfectly tuned so I need to fix that. But as you can see, it's trying to get around 15. It's a little too rich. 
so we need to pull a lot of fuel out. At 2,000, still too rich. At uh, 25, all right, starting to lean up a little bit, but not much. 35, still too rich. 45, still too rich. I'm so you can see I need to go through that whole curve and adjust everything. And then what I'm gonna do is just give it some good revs. So I can see what it's doing. We'll give a wide open throttle rev. There we go. So, we gotta get some gas in her. She's getting a little low. But I need to get it so I can drive it down the street and not worry about, you know, flooding out or backfiring or anything like that. So, stop that dialogue. And I'll go through the dialogue, check everything out, and adjust these curves over here. Get this adjust this curve by changing these numbers these values which will change this and I'm trying to get it nice and smooth you see how smooth it is and then you can see it's a little right there it's just because the way the motor is you know but we're trying to get that nice and smooth nice and pretty like that by adjusting all these numbers but get it enough where the air fuel ratio is just right okay and like I said if you guys have any more questions just like and subscribe and uh, comment on the comments and I always talk to people let everybody know what's going on now oh, you can see the little Cobra in the background can you um, yeah I'll, I'll show you guys that car real fast <clears throat> make it real quick over here at the shop we got the little 03 Cobra let's see it's a little too dark over here let me go over here little 03 Cobra supercharged um, it's got a pulley on it, but yeah, nice little car, hoping to make about 450, yeah, about, the owner says it makes about 475, I don't know, that's, that's kind of pushing it, I, we'll throw it on the dyno, and dyno's tattle, but we'll see, well you guys have a good day. Got a few Mustangs here in the shop, you can see. But you guys have a good day, and uh, hope to see you guys soon.